Welcome to Scott Rods. I'm taking a break today from the usual nonsense of building uh, hot rods um, because driving about last night, not last night, two nights ago, my Dodge Ram headlights are just terrible. Just the stock halogen bulbs are just so yellow and dull. It's a 2010 and let's face it, the, the lenses themselves are getting a bit cloudy. I've tried cleaning them up but they're just they're just not bright enough. So I've splashed out a whole $40 on one of those Chinese uh, LED headlight conversion kits um, on Amazon. Two days, free delivery. They may be garbage, but I'd kind of want to see how they work. So the first thing I'll do is I'll show you how to get access to the headlights. You pretty much have to take the the, the front grill off. The front grill, like there's a back one. Take the grill off and the headlights off. And then I'll show you what's in this magic box, okay? Okay, it's it's not rocket science to get this off. You've got this uh, flappy panel here that's on with the uh, little push in clips. <clears throat> I usually use a combination of uh, that kind of thing and a pair of long nose pliers. careful with these because they do break and they're a pain in the ass to replace. Tiny bits of plastic they'll, they'll, they'll charge a dollar each for, you know. If you don't take them all the way out then you won't lose them. Next thing we have, 10 mil hex bolts. One, two, three, four, to get your front grill off. Keep saying front grill like there's a back one. Right, what you'll notice, be careful of this. The two on the outer sides of the grill are like that. The two and the inner are like, oh, extreme close up. Yeah, so they're proper threaded and these are more sort of, uh, they go into plastic, so make sure you don't get them the wrong way around when you put them back in. Now there's, there's a couple of fun clips at the bottom you need to be careful with. Yay. Okay, so these clips here, they can get very brittle so just be careful. Don't, uh, don't wrench it. I've had this off so many times that it's not tight anymore so they pop out but when this is new they could uh, they could snap if you don't use one of those plastic flat tool things that you get it's only like 15 or 20 dollars for a set of those plastic trim remover kits okay headlights removal we have a 10 mil bolt at the top i'll show you actually hold on Okay, headlight removal. We have 10mm bolt there, 10mm bolt down there. Okay? And then when you get them off you can pull the thing. Don't don't lever it out that way. It kind of pulls out straight. There's a there's a push-in clip in this corner. So be careful with that and certainly don't lever against any of this. It should come out by hand just with a bit of uh, a bit of manpower, you know what I mean? And then once we get them out, that's that's pretty much it to get them off. Pretty simple. Don't let it uh, 
scare you. You need minimum tools and just a bit of effort. Right, let's get these out. Again, this is one of those very coarse ones because it's going into plastic. Remember where that goes. So both the headlight retaining bolts are, are that style, okay. Right, so you can see it would be very, very tempting to just pull that that way, but you need to pull it straight out. You see? And obviously you're going to have wires. Down there, there's one plug. Again, I'll get the camera down to show you this. So you have a couple of plugs holding this assembly on. This one, pull that little red tab, click it down that way. And then that should just pop out, which is really hard with one hand. Yeah, there's a pushy thing there. So I'll pull that out, but you've got to pull that red tab down or it won't release. And the other one is uh, just a bulb, which presumably I can just turn that out, out. which is your flasher bulb or side light bulb, not sure what that one is, but it's amber. Okay, so I'll take that off and I'll move over to the bench and we'll have a look at the kit we got. Well, I've just realised something. I'm so used to double filament headlight bulbs that I just didn't realise that the Dodge Ram 2010 has actually got two separate bulbs. The top one is the, the low beam and the lower one is the high beam. And of course, I bought the high beam kit. <laughs> so, so I'll fit these anyway and uh, see how they look. And if I like them, I'll get the uh, the low beam kit, which will be another forty or fifty dollars. So that that was always going to be required anyway. But I would have preferred to have the low beam because that's what you use most. So let's have a look at this this kit and see what you get for your forty dollars. Righty ho, what do we have? They're very pretty and they, you know, <laughs> even match the colour of my truck because that's important because, you know, no one's ever going to see them. So we have a very fancy looking LED bulb. It's got a little fan in the back. No doubt that will dry up and start buzzing at me. Get a little connection there, which goes into, presumably this is some sort of power ballast. And that will plug into your where your bulb would normally plug in. That will plug into that harness there. Uh, and this obviously gets plugged in there. And that's it, one on each side. Looks fairly simple. So let's fit that, see how it looks. I mean, it looks nice, but this the Chinese stuff does generally look nice. They use this sort of uh, iodized, ionized, I, I can't remember the name of that sort of uh, metal aluminum that they use but it's very pretty pointless because no one will see it but hey let's go fit it so we are talking about uh, this one here top one that's the uh, the low beams high beams so that just the usual bayonet thing well, this one seems a bit weird so we can unplug this. This is where I lose a finger. Oh, I've never replaced these. Okay. So you've got that connection, which should plug into 
this connection from your ballast tank. Fingers crossed. Okay, that's lots in nicely. So then all that's left is to put the bulb in there and attach the wire from the bulb to that. This will be fun working out which way around this goes. I just get it right first time. Nice. So then that goes into the little guy. There is a little groove there. A little groove there. Screw that on. Nice. You've got all this nonsense to try and hide in your car. I don't really want to put it in there in case it gets hot. I mean, it's an LED, it shouldn't get hot, that's the whole point of them, is it not? Okay, before I go too mad, let's uh, take it and plug it into the car and make sure it works, shall we? Flash your bulb. One plug there. back in. I'm not going to put this all the way in, I just want to rest it there. Let me see if it works. Goodness, they're bright. So they're both on high beams at the moment. It's really hard to tell. I need to try it at night time. Um, but you definitely, that's the old bulb. You definitely get a yellowy glow. Bear in mind it's the it's the lower one we're looking at, okay? Yeah, you can see that's <laughs> as hot as the sun. It's pretty bright. got a slight blue tinge to it which is nice it's not too crazy blue and that one's definitely yellowy you really can't see a comparison there we'll try it at night but I'll fit the other one we'll go for a drive tonight and see how it looks yeah but so far so far it looks good another way to look at it would be the the light it gives off onto the the workbench one on the left hand side is obviously the the LED, one on the right, is just a halogen bulb. Yeah. Right, I'll rebuild it all and uh, we'll take it out tonight for a wee drive.
So of course it started snowing heavy for my little experiment. So everything's going to look bright, but hopefully we'll still get a good a good test of the LED main beams or high beams. But uh, I will take us to a little a little dark road without any street lights. That will give us a better comparison. While we're on our way, I will talk a little bit about the colour temperature that you want in your HIDs or your LED bulbs. Some people order up like 10,000K LED bulbs and think they're going to be super bright, but that's not how it works. The 10,000K or 5,000K is actually a colour temperature and it's based on the the infrared spectrum or whatever the hell it is, colour spectrum. So it kind of starts at yellow which would be maybe 2000K. I think the K is Kelvin, correct me if I'm wrong. And it goes way up to like 10, 15,000 K which is kind of purple. So the manufacturers generally install 5000 K bulbs which is kind of just as it becomes white you know from the yellow. I've gone for 6000 K so I've got a bit of a blue tinge so I may lose a little bit of brightness but because they're, H because they're LEDs they should be brighter than halogens anyway. Oh my goodness it's icing up. Welcome to Canada people! Right, we'll be at our, uh, I'll be at my little test road in a couple of minutes. Hang in there. So you can probably tell already how bad my headlight bulbs are. That should be much brighter than that. But hopefully my, my new low beam bulbs will arrive tomorrow. And I'll get them fitted and we'll be safe again. So I'm just going to turn left here and not be on my little road without any without any lights. Uh, the snow's just turning to ice as soon as it's hitting my windshield. Once this car passes, I'll flick on my full beams, high beams, and see what they look like, shall we? It's hard to tell because there's so much snow in the way. You can, you can tell they're, they're a lot brighter. Unfortunately, I'm getting glare off of the snow, so I'm not getting a, I'm not getting a true result here. Certainly better than it was. I can promise you that. Okay, head home and uh, we'll do a, a summary or something. <laughs> Did you see those tracks going over onto the other side of the road? Oh my goodness, learn to drive people! Slow down in the snow, morons.
so overall I have to say I'm, I'm quite impressed with this kit it seems to work um, time will tell how long it works but uh, what I did notice because you know I never look at instructions and especially I've done Chinese anyway if you lift this up got a couple of cable ties and there's a little allen key in there so presumably those bulbs are adjustable like you can rotate them a little bit if if you think the beams not perfect shouldn't matter so much for you know the high beam because it's really just a show all but that would be important for the the low beam bulbs so you don't blind people or it's pointing too far left or right so we'll find out tomorrow i'll get them but i'm not going to bother doing a review in, unless there's something dramatic happens but they should be fine these were fine out there as you could see uh, so i'll put a link to where i got them or the link uh, on amazon but there's, there's loads and they're all roughly about the $40 mark for these. So, thanks for watching. This is a new type of video for me. Hope you get something out of it. If you get any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment. And go on, subscribe, you know you want to. Thanks for watching. Bye.